All right, guys, this video, I'm going to show you how to optimize all images on a website um, and have it have it done um, all in one shot, really, instead of one image at a time. So I want to show you. So if you go to pingdom.com, this is tools.pingdom.com. Uh, and if in fact, if you wanted to just type in uh, website speed test, it's one of the first results here. So you can see tools.pingdom.com. That's a good one. If you click on that, it's going to take you to where you could input one of your URLs. And then you scroll down and see what the load time is. So what you want to shoot for is you want to shoot for under two seconds. Now what I was noticing is with this, uh, with all of our articles, um, we needed to build in an optimization process for each of the articles prior to uploading them all onto the WordPress website. And we didn't do that. Uh, and, and that was something that needs to be done. And so that's, that's something to build into our processes. And so I realized as we uploaded all of these articles that um, the load time was like six, seven, eight seconds. And it was really weighing down the whole website, um, just, just weighing it down like anchors on a ship. And um, I want to show you a real quick way to resolve this. Uh, the first thing you can do is you could, use, you could use this tool called Short Pixel. Short Pixel is a WordPress plugin that, as, that, that you install onto your WordPress website and it will automatically optimize all of your images on your entire website for speed and it keeps a good crisp quality. Um, this is a very good product and um, they have different plans. If you're working with lots of different websites, you could do this credits package. Uh, but if it's just one website and you have a lot to do on one website or it's a very um, important client, you could just do this one here. It's just $8 per month. Um, you may or may not want to do that. There's also a free option just to optimize some of the most important images. Um, or if you've just got a handful of images you want to do, you could just do that free option. So, uh, yeah, so for example, if you go here, you go this 100 credits per month. And these credits are based on how many images you need to optimize. So all you need to do is you, um, once, once you created an account here with Short Pixel, you use that, you log in, you go to your dashboard, you get your API key. And then all you have to do is you go over to your WordPress uh, website and you go to plugins. Now I'm just going to go ahead and open this in a new tab here and show you what it would look like. And you search for short pixel and right here you just add new so you go to plugins add new and it'll allow you to search for short pixel so you type in right here short pixel and once this loads you'll see that the option is right here so this short pixel image optimizer this op um, optimize images convert web p and avif um, it just does it all super smartly. Create, compress, next gen formats, um, smart crop and resize. So it's, it's very, very simple. You, once you activate that, you can then select bulk actions so that it can be able to process your entire website in bulk. This one here uh, had 700-ish, 700 or 800-ish. And all I did, you, you just select a few options on how you want it to, uh, it's, there's, there's really nothing to it. You just select whether or not you want to save the old ones. Um, you want to select whether you want it to do a smart cropping. I didn't do the smart cropping. I don't think that that's necessary. But that would be more for e-commerce websites and stuff like that. So I just kept all the defaults and... Um, as you can see, it's working through right now. The media library here, 73% done out of, uh, let's see, there's, it's already processed 557, and there's only 151 left to process. It's literally going image by image by image, optimizing all of these images, and it's compressing them and optimizing them, and it's going to maintain the same quality. Uh, well, it, almost exact, very high, high quality. You won't even notice it. Um, and it's real sharp. I've, I've used this previously. It's very, very good. 
um, but that will decrease the size of the images substantially. And then when you rerun your um, your web page specific URLs, you you just test that, and you can see that it's going to run way faster. You want to aim for under two seconds. So this one here is under two seconds. Um, there's other things that we need to do to optimize this thing, but this is a really good load speed compared to what it was earlier today. It was like seven or eight seconds. And um, if you're at seven or eight seconds, you're really not going to rank on the first page of Google. You need to get it under two seconds for you to be very competitive. And so that's, that's what you need to do on your website. You could do that bulk optimization or you could do one at a time and um, it's it is important to to uh, set up your processes so that you optimize your images prior to loading them uh, that would really be very effective but if you have a very large website with 700 images that need to be optimized this is a very good option to get it done really within an hour or two um, this has been processing almost for an hour now and you can see that it's just going through one after another after another and optimizing these images. And um, it's, let's see, it's 74% done, so it's three quarters of the way there. And the results are gonna be awesome. It's really gonna be saving a ton of time. This is going to speed up the whole website and my rankings, as you can see here, so this is, these are our pages that we've published so far. We, even with slow images, because we this just got brought to our attention, um, um, that the pages were loading so slowly, and we're like, oh, what's going on? But look at this. So the number of pages um, that we have is very proportional to the number of keywords that are ranking, that are starting to rank on Google. And, um, and so even without very good load speed, like seven or eight seconds, we were still grabbing a bunch of these keywords and, and our rankings were still climbing because we were adding such great content. But I'm expecting with this load speed being under two seconds now, our results here are just going to skyrocket. And I think we're gonna have a ton of first page rankings that, it, that result just from speeding up the images. So if there's one thing that you can do to optimize your website for SEO, it is to optimize your images if, because they might be weighing down your website. So check the, the uh, speed of your, the load speed of each of your web pages and, and uh, one by one optimize each of those images or do it in a very efficient way where you can install this plugin and it can bulk optimize the entire website for you within a matter of a couple hours. So that is my SEO tip of the day to optimize all images on a website for increased rankings on Google. If your business is already at 2.5 million or more, we invite you to check out our 10X Accelerated program at 10xflowseo.com, where we can work together to help you reach 50 million or over 100 million per year. If you're not yet at the 2.5 million per year, then feel free to like and subscribe to help keep applying all this video knowledge, our entire playbooks designed to help you get to 2.5 million per year for free.